is Tammy Sharon Vada. I'm the Houston-based attorney and the host of Ask Tammy Live, where we discuss the best ways to establish your business, protect your name, and keep your profits. Today's question of the day is, how do I protect my idea? I love that question. Let's jump in. Okay, so here's the scoop. There isn't quite a legal way to protect an idea. Um, here are some things. Lots of people are like, can I copyright my idea? No. Can I trademark my idea? No. Can I patent my idea? Not really. You got to patent something. It has to be in existence. It can't be an idea. It has to be made tangible. So again, we get back to that question. How do I protect my idea? The only way you can protect an idea is by not telling anybody, which is kind of hard because you're like, I just don't want anyone to steal it and run with it. Well, here's the thing. You can protect your idea up to a certain point, right? If you are in the development stages and you want the people who are working with you to kind of keep it secret and things like that, you can use something called a confidentiality agreement. And I have a video about that. I'll put a link to that below or in the, in this video. But in terms of what happens when you have your business and you go out there and you start you know, making moves. Unfortunately, if somebody likes your idea a little bit, they can, they can use it. Now they can't copy you exactly. And if you have like your trademark protection, they can't steal your name, right? Because you've registered a trademark. So you can protect that element. Um, if you've written a book, if you've copyrighted it or you've all automatically copyrighted, but if you register your copyright in it, they can't steal your words, but concepts, I'm sorry, I don't know how you can protect that. It's just difficult. And it is one of the risks that's associated with doing business. Now, if there are specific processes that you do in your business that are secret, you know, then continue to keep it a secret using a confidentiality agreement of some sort. But again, if somebody observes your business and says, oh, this person always folds this like this, and I think that's their secret sauce, I think I'm gonna try and fold this like this, unless you figure out some nuanced and unique way to get a trademark for it, which you probably can't, they're gonna be able to do that. I know that's not exactly what you want to hear, but I want to keep it 100 with you because that's important that you are informed when you go about and make your decisions. Now, here's the best way to make sure that you protect your ideas is to execute it in a way that is unique and authentic to you so that no one can copy you because guess what? There's only one of you. Okay. And I know that's kind of like, oh, you know, but I really believe that one of my favorite things to say is dominate with distinction. When you are so unique, so distinct, and so amazing at what you do, even when someone tries to copy you, they will fall short. You will stand out. Okay. So I've told you all the legal things, but that's the other thing I want you to have in the back of your mind as you're just creating the elements, you're designing your offerings, you're designing your business. How can I dominate with distinction? Now, if this was helpful to you, let me know in the comments below. If you have a follow-up question, drop it below. I read those. And sometimes that's the source or the inspiration for the videos that come up next. Additionally, if you're trying to figure out what do I do, I'm trying to start this business, we have something for you. It's called the Start Right Action Checklist. And a link for that is going to also be in the description box below. Go ahead and download this checklist and use it to really make sure that you're on the right path in terms of creating your business and creating something that's going to last. I use the same guidelines when I'm working with my clients when I want in my office, okay? So definitely check that out. I think you're going to find it really valuable. If all of that happens and you still like, man, Tammy is cool. I want to hang out with her. or I want to know more about what she's doing. Follow me on social media. Don't follow me in real life. We're not fans of stalkers, <laughs> but go ahead and follow me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, go to the website, www.toslegal.com and see what we have going on. Um, and, and we would love to hear from you. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye. <music>